Hey guys, before today's video starts, I wanna let you know that the Street Style version two drop is now live. We have two new shirts, hoodies, garage banners, stickers, tons of awesome accessories for you guys live on the channel right now if you guys are looking for early Christmas gifts or holiday gifts, this is a perfect chance to get yours. It'll be the first link down below. Everything that we have on the site right now is absolutely killer. This is my favorite drop by far here. I am wearing the t-shirt right now. Front hit as well as the back. It is so awesome. Where's the hoodie? I gotta show you guys hoodie as well as my favorite hoodie ever this one is actually embroidered over print so it's like super high quality and this is by far my favorite line ever you guys can get this right now it'll be the first link in the description box below enjoy today's video She's finally in the body shop with a sun kiss. This is actually the worst. What is up guys, welcome back to the video. Today we are at the body shop where the Z is, which I just showed you guys back there. And we are actually going to disassemble the L28 today. Like I said, throughout the entire build of the car, I wanna show every single little detail down to us, just stripping the engine and getting it ready for the engine builder. Cause like I said, we are gonna build the L28. Completely like redo everything. Once John gets over here in just a second, I'll have him explain exactly what we'll be doing. Cause he knows better than I do. But I'm very, very excited for this. Cause the last time me and Tiana drove uh, the Hakasuka with the L28 in it, we fell in love. So I'm very, very excited. And we're also gonna decide whether I'm gonna do uh, a boosted setup or just go go ahead and do uh, high compression ITBs. So we're gonna go ahead and decide that today. Here's John, you guys remember John from Entice Motorsports. John, can you give us a rundown of like what we're doing to the L28 today? So pretty much, uh, we're just gonna disassemble everything on the outside of the block. Um, we're gonna send that out to the machine shop. The machine shop wants it all complete so they can test everything, make sure the block, everything, there's no no leaks, no nothing. Uh, so we're pretty much gonna dis dismantle everything on the outside, and take manifold, AC pop. By the way, off. the car will have AC, which is a plus. Right, uh, take the tranny off, starter, spark plugs, oil pan, pretty much anything external, timing chain, all that. Valve cover's coming off, so it'll pretty much just- It should be like a very, very a bare, bare engine, and once that's done, we can actually send this off to the builders, correct? Yeah, so we can even drop it off today, so. Ooh! Oh, rip. <laughs> um, this L28 right there actually came out of the, out of this 240Z right here. But here is what the automatic transmission looks like. And this one actually has the manual trans, which is what we need. So anybody in SoCal knows an L28 with a manual trans, actually just the trans that they want to sell to us. We are actively looking for it right now. Let me know because I will come get it as soon as possible. But we're going to go ahead and get started. And I'm just going to walk you guys through us removing everything on the engine. Okay, for me to start out uh, and go ahead and like tear this thing down, what I'm going to start out with first is I'm going to take the starter off, take off whatever line, oop, this looks like the coolant line, whatever line this is right here. We're going to leave the oil filter on for now because it's just going to make a mess. Uh, take off the motor mount from down here and then the alternator and then I'll lastly move to the spark plugs and pretty much be good. We're going to leave the trans on right now just because it's balancing out the engine and making it sit nice and, uh, nice and sturdy for while I do this, but I'm going to go ahead and get started with all of that. Okay, so, so far we have half of the motor disassembled. We just have to go ahead and take the spark plugs off of this side. Now, we can actually move to the other side of the motor where the intake manifold is. And we're gonna go ahead and take off the 
the valve cover and then move to like the injectors and the intake manifold and we're going to try and keep it all together so it just comes off as one piece to make it as easy as possible but we'll see how that turns out Alright, successfully got the intake manifold off of the L28. Now we have to do the stock headers and then uh, and then just the valve cover. Headers, AC pump, mount, distributor. We're getting close. This was probably the hardest part of the day and uh, now we don't have to worry about it. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the headers and all the other little accessory stuff that is just pretty easy. And everything else is pretty easy. Whoop. That was super easy. We got the stock header off, which these are like beefy and gross. When you guys see what John is gonna cook up for the 280Z, it's gonna be insane. Um, I kind of decided what we're gonna do with the engine actually, so I'll explain that a little bit later once we're actually done uh, removing everything. But headers, intake manifold, take the gasket. Cool. We are so close to be able to drop this thing off at the machine shop. I'm so stoked for this. Everything is off of the engine. We are almost good to go. All we have to do is now remove the valve cover up top and then take off the transmission and this thing will be completely ready to head off to the machine shop. So these are all just a bunch of tens on the valve cover. I'm gonna go ahead and knock all of these out and uh, we'll be done. All right, so we got the valve cover off. This is the head of the engine. John, you want to explain what we got going on here? Okay, yeah, so it's pretty basic. Uh, these engines are actually really simple. So these don't have like dual overhead cams or anything like this. You got your single cam, obviously. Could we do cam gear? Could we do dual cam? I don't know if you can. I know always Gaikins offers something. I just don't know if it bolts up to this exact block. But uh -huh. I know always Gaikin does offer. Uh, it's a sick head. It's like dual overhead cam, like yeah. valve strings, retainers, lifters, all that. If any anybody knows, comment down below. Maybe we'll get in touch with them. Yeah, super so this, simple. Yeah, this one's simple. You got your cam cap, cam, cam gear, timing chain, springs, retainers, uh, lifters. Pretty basic. Then you got your block. Pretty basic engines. We did, I love these engines. They're we like did good today. Yeah, yeah, we did good today. Cool. Next up, uh, now that all of this is out of the way, it's just the transmission and we're good to go. The transmission is spark plugs. That's it. All right, so right now it looks pretty grimy, but once they hot tank it, it's gonna get hot tank. They're gonna pressure test it to make sure all the cylinders are gonna seal properly. Uh, it's gonna get home, honed a half a size bigger. I'm not sure exactly what the piston size is on these off the top of my head, but if it was like an 86, we'd probably go to 86 and a half or 87, 87 and a half, whatever it is, half a size over. We're probably gonna get some custom pistons made by Aries Pistons. Probably do high compression pistons, some I beam rods. Uh, this thing's gonna be sick. Yeah, dude. yeah. We're gonna put all the new, the new freeze plugs. Get the engine painted, whatever color Dustin decides to do it. It's gonna be dope once it's ready. It's gonna be good. You guys are gonna be so stoked once you see the car, like complete body, all of the paint that Tiana chose. Like, it's gonna come out incredible. So yeah. we are very, very excited for this. It's gonna be dope. So actually. We were removing the transmission off of the engine, but we forgot that since this is an automatic, the automatic transmission has torque converter bolts that connect the flywheel to the transmission. So we had to go ahead and uh, rotate the flywheel, take off those 14 millimeter bolts, and now we can actually just... Uh you good? Is it off? Yeah. Yeah, no more automatic transmission. All right, John, we killed it. 
Yeah. Motor is currently all, well, it's not cleaned up, but we cleaned up our area, took the transmission out. Now this thing is completely ready to head over to the machine shop. Unfortunately, we actually took a little bit too long. The guy that we're going to speak to at the machine shop isn't there right now. But good news, John is actually, are you building this one as well? Yeah, so this one has to be torn apart too. Um, I still gotta wait and talk to the customer and see exactly what he wants to do. And then he let somebody else borrow his head so I has to get a new <laughs> one. But yeah, so once, I'll probably drop both of them off at the same time. Um, and this guy's actually gonna go ITB, the ITB route. His car is a 240Z as well. And this is actually a first gen, uh, series one. That's pretty crazy. So it should be pretty awesome. That's pretty crazy. So um, what John's going to go ahead and do is when he drops that engine off, he's also going to take mine to the machine shop too and get all of that squared away. Now, I guess since we're not going to the machine shop, let's go ahead and talk about the plans with the motor. Good news, we got a lot of stuff done today. It sucks that I couldn't show you guys taking the engine to the machine shop, but I know John will take care of it and I'm really, really excited. Our two options for the L28 were to turbo it or to go high compression, ITBs. Uh, after a lot of thinking and a lot of talking with John, we have decided we're gonna go ITB. It's gonna save us a little bit to go I ITBs and cars are rev really high. It's gonna stay true to the actual engine and like, and like period correct, I guess you could call it. It gives us a chance to make some awesome crazy headers for the exhaust. The car's gonna sound amazing because you do lose a little bit of the exhaust sound with the turbo. Like the car's gonna be mean and we can still make around 300 horsepower with an ITB set up whereas turbo we'd make a little bit extra I think but it's all gonna be super solid ITB setup I have a chance of less issues with an ITB setup versus uh, turbo and I want the car to be really really reliable for Tiana because she is gonna want to drive the Z around everywhere so I think the ITBs will be a, just a little bit more reliable than a boosted setup and you know if we change our mind down the road we can always eventually go go with a turbo setup but there's lots that we can do with the actual ITBs but as you can see the Z is officially in the body shop and it is ready to to go they got all the paint codes that they needed and the car's pretty much good to go they're gonna start uh, tearing it down and doing their thing one thing that I really wanted to do with these videos for the 280z is literally show every single process of you know what we do with the car so like literally today was tearing down the engine and I want to show you piece by piece everything that goes into this car because this is a really special car that I got for Tiana she's beyond stoked for the car and it's gonna come out amazing I hope you guys are as stoked for the 280z build as we are but we're done in the shop today we're so. about to go ahead and move the engine and get it ready for the machine shop.